Hey, my name's Andrew, and we're about to wreck a North Georgia mountain brook trout. We got a couple of rainbow trouts here, and I'm gonna do them two ways. One is just gonna go over the open grill. The second one we're gonna do in a foil pack, and we are gonna get some epic flavor. So are you ready? Yes! Let's crush it. So we're gonna hit the one in the foil pack first. I hike all of these into the mountains for your viewing pleasure. We're gonna make ourselves a little foil pocket. Okay, first trout, I'm gonna take some butter and I'm going to rub it into the belly area. I'm then going to lather it. I'm using my fingers. My fingers are washed. Wash your hands, Kevin. Uh, because I want to get that over every square inch of this piece of trout. Then I'm going to take a good solid amount of, of dill. I want to get that dill all over, top dill. Okay. This is really simple, it's easy to do. You don't have to be a, you know, a rocket star chef to, to be able to do this. I have some beautiful limes that I have. You know, I got some amazing limes growing in my backyard. I just love using limes. The zesty flavor, I just prefer when I can, a lime over a lemon. So I've done some generous, thick, rustic cuts there. And I'm gonna put one right up in the belly, another one behind the tail, and one sitting on top, because I want all of that to infuse over the top of the fish. A Little bit of olive oil to finish, and I don't wanna lose the flavor too much. A trout is a very delicate uh, meat texture, so I'm just gonna put a very small amount of a Cajun, a Cajun Creole seasoning there. And then we are just going to rock it. This packet, uh, I'm doing this one first because this one will take a little longer, being the fact that it's seasoned up, and I'm just gonna set it right there over the hot part of the fire. Okay, so the second one, or again, we're going to take some oil. I'm going to take that oil. I'm going to rub it all on the fish. Now, slightly different. I'm going to put a few little cuts just to enter the flesh slightly of the fillets. I want to get all of the flavor and the seasoning into the fish. So this is going to be a very uh, different feel. It's going to have more of a crispy outside. The other one's kind of more almost simmering in oils, if you will. Again, I'm going to put a little bit of dill on this one. Right. And this time, I'm going to drizzle lime juice all over the fish. So I want to get that all everywhere. It's a very small fish, so it's going to cook really quickly. All right. Um, again, finishing with a little bit of Creole seasoning, just to give that feisty little sting in the flavor. It's more tingly than hot. Yeah. Okay, so I'm confident. I'm happy with that flavor. You can see the flavor has now gone into all of those little slits that I put into the sides of the fish and I'm just simply going to lay that fish on the grill and we're going to watch as they cook. Okay so let's just turn this fish here you can see that beautiful crust the outside starting to you know crisp up a little bit the inside flesh is turning white beautifully soft and tender you can see the flavors are just working through I'm going to dredge a little bit more lime over that in just a minute I'm gonna do the same with this one. I'm just turning it over very delicately. Very, very delicate fish. It's gonna have some good flavor. Okay, let's let that cook a little bit longer. Okay, so, wow, look how tender this fish is. I'm barely picking it up, and it's almost falling apart. The packet here, I'm just gonna check the packet. Yeah, I think this needs just a little bit longer. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm going to lift the grill and put this directly on the heat. Okay, so, 
let's plate this up. Oh, look at that. Look how, look how easily that just fell apart right now. So let's have a little tiny taste. I'm gonna get a little piece of that, that skin on there that's super good for you. Let's get a little bit of this flake. Oh wow, wow. That is so buttery. It's soft, it's sweet, it melts in your mouth. That little tiny Cajun kick is there, you can taste the lemon juice, wow. That is such a beautiful fish to eat. I'm gonna enjoy the rest on my own. Now for the packet, let's open it up. It's like one of those little Kinder eggs. Kinder. You can see this has been cooking because the lime's changing color and it's releasing all of that limey goodness. Now, if you notice, this is different. This is almost more of like a, a steam. It's steamed in all of its own juices. Look at that, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna break it just to show you. Look, look, that spine is literally, I've picked it up by the wrong piece, but if I, if I take it there, it's just literally gonna fall off the bone. You can see that the, look at that. It's literally coming straight off the rib cage. See that? That is just gorgeous. Look at that. Well, Would you look at that? Yeah. Okay, so let's try this one now, remembering that it has all of that lime goodness all over it. Okay, so. See, this didn't have a lot of the direct smoke, but it had that heat. So the flavor is gonna be a little different, a little less smoky. Here we go, let's try it out. Oh my gosh. The lime is a lot louder in these and you can, it's almost, it's super soft. It's a little less buttery and it's more watery and you can taste the sweetness. You can taste the, the quite sharp zing zest of the lime too. I really like it, it's bomb. My favorite is the first one. Of the two, the, definitely the first one is my favorite. This is still really great. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe and get out in nature and go catch yourself a little brook trout and cook it like this. Have a record day.